One thing all of us experienced in the last few years is that the weather temperature in Europe has been increasing, which is resulting in many negative knock-on effects and there are many examples for the devastating consequences of climate change. Data centers use a lot of energy, we know that. And we know this means that we have to work extra hard towards a sustainable future. That's why we ask ourselves every day, how can we make efficient changes within our industry? My name is Florian Winkler, and I'm the CEO of Entity Global Data Centers EMEA. And today we're looking at the energy impacts of data centers and what the industry can do to support the world's efforts to slow climate change. Climate change has arrived everywhere. In Europe, the temperatures have increased twice as much as everywhere else in the world. Now our industry, data centers, contribute to greenhouse gas emissions due to the use of IT, and IT needs power. That is why we want to be part of the solution as data centers and drive every day together with our customers or partners to reduce this carbon footprint and by that contribute to our sustainable future of the world. NTT is doing quite a few things to create a more sustainable future. First of all, we are committed to a net zero target of greenhouse gas emissions. In all our operations by 2030, and across the entire supply chain by 2040. Secondly, we want to be fully on renewable energies by 2030. That's an ambitious goal. And for that, we're teaming up with all the experts and the community in the data center industry to share best practices and to exchange ideas how to achieve that. There are things like how to further increase power effectiveness of our data centers how we can recycle, how we can recover the heat and deploy it elsewhere. All these kind of things only will be created out of a community and an interest group. We're working together with all the sector and the industry players in the European Climate Neutral Data Center Pact, which we were a founding member of in 2021. And we discuss how to design data centers better bring the power consumption further down, and many more things. First of all, the best kilowatt hour is the one we don't use. Our new builds, they are already designed for power effectiveness factors for below 1.3. It is more cumbersome to optimize your legacy estate, your existing buildings. And this will be achieved when you refresh technology with the latest art and trying to achieve step-by-step step an efficient existing building. Secondly, whatever we consume as kilowatt hours, we should procure in a sustainable way, renewable power. We've already engaged as NTT to procure long-term power purchase agreements directly contracted with newly added power plants, solar and hydro to the grid. And we're participating directly and already adding 200 gigawatt hours onto that consumption. We use groundwater cooling in our Munich 2 data center. That helps massively also to reduce the power consumption. We use district heating heat recovery technology in our Berlin data center, where we provide the connect to the community to help them reuse the waste heat generated in our data centers. The main actions for driving now this journey forward are manifold. Batteries, which can store solar power at night and provide that on a 24 seven basis further collaboration with our clients to enhance the operating level of their IT. Servers today can operate at a higher temperature and hence saving energy. 
All of these things will not be a one shot, but a continuous journey. I think it's very good that society and governments are aware of the challenge and try to guide the market with the right legislation and regulation. It's well intended, but sometimes we're not always certain that the effect will be exactly the one which we all want. So therefore, it is key that we continue the dialogue between regulatory bodies, between governments, between the interest groups of the industry and the expert to make sure that we have a regulatory and legislation framework which serves the purpose. All these little steps need to be there. And with that, I think we're well equipped and we're up for the challenge to turn this around. <laughs>